Welcome everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in TNO, the Lasses of Europe, in which we're playing as Comey. If you'd like to read about the Comey Republic, please go right ahead as we slowly go down the paragraphs here, as well as here, as well as there, and finishing it off, hopefully there, but the state of the Comey Republic. So, I've actually played as a Comey Republic before, in which uh, I went as, I played as Taboritsky. So that'll be a lot of fun. Or at least that was a lot of fun. But with this pa with this page, I keep seeing the next page here. Oh look, Bukharina. Oh look at that. She's uh in the Communist Party. Okay, cool. That's kind of cool. And that's pretty much it for the Republic. So let's begin with the focus. Uh, the affairs of the National Assembly. I'm not sure how, which way we're going to do this, but let's do let's do the affairs. As much as our detractors enjoy condemning our Republic for its successes of political intrigue and the occasional bout of violence, there's more to Comey than scheming and intriguing. The policies of the National Assembly, while bitterly contested as all things are, are a critical element for the thousands of people, were affected by the government's machinations each year. Opening the National Assembly for the year, appointing new party whips, and ensuring that everything functions as normal shall ensure that the functions of the Republic's institutions are as strong as ever. Additionally, this will serve or give us the opportunity to cut through precedent and tradition, changing long-standing laws and improving the lives for the multitude of citizens of the Republic. Through the tactical exercise of the state's power, backed by the people, anything becomes possible. So, it's only two weeks long, and I've already pretty much decided what I want to try to get for the leader of Comey, even though Comey itself is not really super easy to play as, but it's definitely probably not the most difficult warlord in good old Russia, in which... Next up, we're going to go with Foundations of Sam. Another year has passed, and our coalition's Congress has managed to run our public as well as they can, given our <clears throat> unfortunate circumstance. However, the cracks are beginning to show in factionalism within, within the Republic, and even our coalition is growing at an incredible rate. If we're to continue our custodianship of Comey and prevent the radicals from taking power, we must act quickly and decisively put down our enemies. Um, so, like I've said, I've already played uh, Comey once, and I really don't want to read all the events again. I apologize, but it is what it is. You can only read so many events so many times over and over and over again before you just go grow bored of them. Like when we get the event for the modern Bogatir, which will pop up very soon, hopefully. So if you'd like to read about the custodian, please go right ahead. So it just talks about Nikolai Vosnesensky, who is currently leading our country. Cool. And we have that done. And let's get the next focus done. And so with Comey here. Zidanev may call up to eight favorites, a friend on the left. Okay. And then we have the House of Cards. Let's take a look. The right, well, we're very divided, very, very divided here. Gumilev, Tabritsky, which is Mr. Daddy, Mr. Fun, funny Clock Man. Uh, Center is doing okay, most influential faction members with Vosnesensky. Uh, Stalina, I need to play Stalina sometime, but that's not who we're going to go with. Moderate. <clears throat> hmm. Svetlana, huh? Oh, she's purple. Is that Burgundian system? Uh, Social Democracy is going down Zidanev, Soslov. Now, I'm not exactly sure how to get a certain woman that we want here. Not this Svetlana. I've got another Svetlana <coughs> in mind. But, so, if I remember correctly, I look up a small little guide how to do... Or basically, I really want to get Bukharina in here. I know you guys probably already wrote in your comments about going down a certain route. But I would like to get Bukharina just because someone recommended it on my Discord server. And I think in a couple comments before. So, I think it was, what, suppress the left first, maybe? Hmm, maybe that's wrong. But, if it's wrong, well, I'll fix it up off screen. And you won't see all the numerous mistakes I may or may not make. Cool. Form coalition tickets. That decreases the influence of the right by small amounts. Libertarian socialism. Now, who's our libertarian socialist here? Do we have anyone? Andre Zadanov. Mr. Libertarian Socialist himself. Discourage paramilitary violence. Ooh. Encourage file sharing. All right. Increases this. Ooh, what is this? Hasten army recruitment. I think I want to do a public housing one. That one's usually pretty good for poverty, so. If you'd like to read about the peacemaker, please go right ahead. This is about Alexei Kosygin. I think he's our conservative Democrat or liberal Democrat. Yeah. He's for liberal democracy, so if you'd like to read about him, please go right ahead. But we got to keep moving on. And which next? The last year of Vosnesens die? A ruling coalition is headed by the most left-wing Democratic faction, the Vosnesens under look. Nikolai Vosnesensky. Under the guidance, Comey has seen a significant improvement in rebuilding from the bombs, lowering the death toll, and attracting refugees to our towns and cities. However, all is not quite well. Vosnesensky's ties to the far left, specifically Andrei Zidanov, are quite alarming and a source of constant discomfort among the more conservative members of the coalition. Time will only tell the Vosnesensky will be able to keep their position at the head of the party or another ring will take their place. The Defender. 
Oh, uh, if you'd like to read about Svetlana Stalina, which I will play as someday, I promise you that. Please go ahead. Um, like I said before, I've, I've already read through all these before. If you'd like to read these, please go right ahead. Just, um, it is what it is. Right-wing propaganda. A decreased influence of the center. Uh, well, for us personally, I mean, Nesinski, he's in the center. I really want to boost the left, so we're going to suppress the left, which doesn't make any sense, but we'll go, we're going to go with it for now. Uh, decrease the influence of the Comey center by a small amount. Let's increase radicalism. And here's, like I said, the modem Bogatir. If you like to read about that, please go right ahead. Bogatir. 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 Cool. I just want to loot and raid people, man. That's all I want to do. Order of St. George, yes. Yes, I love the Order of the St. George peoples. Yes. Let's get on over there and please let me raid you. Come on. Go, 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 go. Come on, please. Oh, well, no wonder we don't have enough command power. What am I thinking? Command power? Yeah, command power. I'm going crazy. Um, why don't we do that too? What happens if you do that both? The Paragon. Oh, I do. People do want me to play Suslav, but I'm not going to do that yet, so if you like to read about him, please go right ahead. Suslav, Suslav is kind of fun. Suppress the right. Decreases the company right by a small random amount. Raise confidence in democracy. Uh, the visionary, if you'd like to read about this guy, uh, please go right ahead, but uh, very cool. The visionary. For the right, huh? Hmm. I'm not sure if I really want to do that. Moderate. Ah, I'll do it anyways. We'll, we'll suppress both sides. Another late night insective car. If you'd like to read about this, please go right ahead. Or, oh, wait, hold on. Uh, so, oh, you know, uh, this talks about Svetlana a little bit, so. Cool. Just another threat or unexpected ally. So, if you'd like to read about this, please go right ahead. Always well, we suppress both left and right, but that's not going to influence us too much as possible. Influence us too much. Oh, words are difficult. A day in the assembly. If you'd like to read about this, please go right ahead. This happens every time we play as Comey, so... I'll play for all of us. Cool. God dang it. Oh, we have this done? Great. Equipment. We love equipment. Oh, j Burgundian system. Who's Konev? Co okay. The Seeker. Well, how'd you look at this? This is one I'm definitely going to read. Svetlana Bukharina smiled cordially for the fifth time in the fifth representative, shook his hand, promised a bright future working together, and stepped away for the fifth time. They never asked her anything about herself. She noticed only her father. Your father would be so proud, they'd say. If only he could see you now, to which she'd smile and agree, promising to follow in dear old Nikolai's footsteps. She wasn't so ignorant. This meeting was a productive one, though, not for the reasons the rest of the Commons party thought. It wasn't a mere get-together for her, no. This was a valuable opportunity to learn who the true threats in Comey were, and more importantly, how they could be taken down. The man who just spoke to her, she noticed with some grim satisfaction was a coward. The second she disagreed with him on a minor dispute, he backed down and apologized thoroughly. Someone like that was a follower, not a leader. Serov had watched her carefully as expected, a fearsome man, for sure, but he hadn't considered that his prey would be watching just as carefully. Well, she took the most interest in the was in the man's apparent disregard for the communist communist theory. And the way he spoke reminded Svetlana of what little uh, Nazi propaganda she had suffered through in the past. The party was nearing a breaking point. She concluded at the end of the night, Zidanev and Soslov, for all their attempts to enforce unity, could not control everyone. Serov would be the first to go, she reasoned, but certainly not the last. A new rising star on the party would welcome a sight for a many reassurance that the glory days of the Union were not all lost. Svetlana Bukharina would be that, but unlike her dear father, she wouldn't let Russia slip through her fingers. A new player enters the game. Oh boy. So, she's not leading any of these groups, which kind of sucks. I really want that Burgundian system, but a dog's life? Uh, a trailblazer. If you'd like to read about Mr. Serov here, please go right ahead. And whatever the do else the dog bitten wants, it's not food. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world. Yeah. Pretty much. Alright, so we can't do anything there. I can't remember, because Zidane, I think, she... <sighs> Bukharina, her... what? She's on the left, obviously. I think she's supposed to be a libertarian socialist. Now, if I increase the dawn of support, does that mean, like, or he'll call in more favors, does that mean Bukharini gets more powerful? Maybe. Change in popularity of libertarian socialism? Cut ties? Uh, let's see. I think we'll cut ties right before the election. We don't want him to be too popular. So, let's go ahead and do public houses, because I like poverty. Improving poverty is better. Well, I don't like poverty. <laughs> don't quote me on that one. I don't like poverty. Um, yeah, poverty sucks. Uh, increase the support of Andre. Andre. Army speed. Eh, that's okay. Manpower could be actually pretty beneficial. A friendly debate. If you'd like to read about this one, please go right on ahead. It is what it is. And then the Crusader. Gumileyev. Lev Nikolaevich Gumileyev. If you'd like to read about him, please go right ahead as well. 
We could probably use that manpower, honestly. Mm. Stability's not bad, so. Campaign for him. Center. Increased influence. Oh, Stelina. that's Stelina, though. And campaign for this one. DSNP. Uh, if you like to read about this one, please go right ahead. An interesting uh, perspective. I'm sorry that I'm not reading uh, these focuses, or events, I mean. It's just because I've already read them before, so. We're going to keep going down this way. Let's keep going that way. The organizer, if you like to read about Igor Shafarovich, please go right ahead. And... We're going to read, speak with Stalina. Svetlana Stalina, daughter of the famous Soviet bureaucrat Yosef Stalin, is one of the most valuable assets in crafting effective means of keeping radicalism down. Her plans, though often ruthless and prioritizing effectiveness, are generally excellent and proven of a good foil to her rival's consistent scheming. Keeping her loyalty and opening her party up to more of her influence is considered by many to be a critical part of keeping her hegemony. Despite several of the more principled Democrats' complaints about her alleged authoritarianism, approaching her can surely only help us. If you'd like to read about the ghosts of Sictive Carp, please go right ahead. And I'll read all the like the events once we get who we want in power. Also, we're on cutting room floor patch G for this version. As well, we're using the mods TNO, Player Life Peace Conferences, as well as the State Church of Tumat and the Regent. God, I want to play as him again, but if you'd like to read about Papa Sergei here, God save Russia. Just God save Russia. That's all I can say. The party's composition. Uh, we need to accept Oh, okay. So what inevitability of Comey's politics is that the status quo will change radically at a moment's notice. The sadness of this fact, however, is that at a moment, the status quo seems to be shifting radically away from the ruling Vosnesensi faction. Like it or not, by simple virtue of being the public face of the democratic factions in the Republic, public support is eroded by scandal after scandal, be they real or constructed by our political enemies. Public support, ever fleeting and ephemeral, has of late been shifting either to the Suslovit extreme left or the more moderate liberal and conservative factions, those of our coalition partners. As a coalition seems to undergo a period of self-restructuring, it is critical to ensure that the political capital is more or less maintained by the ruling party, and that the current president isn't challenged too heavily by our own allies. Whether the solution is to this is limiting our most credible coalition partner, or simply standing by and letting our power shrivel away, is entirely up to the whims of the president. Sorry, Alexei. Uh, let's see. Social democracy and liberal democracy goes down, or we need to accept other factions. Less social democracy, more liberal democracy and authoritarian socialism. Well... Technically, social democracy is still technically on the left, I think, so. Sorry, Lexi. So, 53, 58. So, oh, if you'd like to read about this, please go ahead. I think my goal is, so we're suppressing the left, so we get the rightists in faction, so then I can do another coup, so when the rightists are in faction. Or in power, I should say. Really in power. So that's the goal here, at least for me. And if it doesn't work, then I'll suppress the right and do it from there. So, I think there's two ways to get sitting in the book arena, but... It's going to take some time, so. And then our paramilitary reports. Straight from our paramilitary commander, Petro Grigorigo, comes the latest observations of the eyes of the street. The previous reports have not given us much confidence in our abilities to control the ever-so-important avenues and roadways of the Komi Republic, and this report is no different. More and more, the paramilitaries under the control of Soslav and Gumeleyev march onto the streets of... Uh, Onto the streets, controlling warehouses, voting stations, and even the entire neighborhoods of Siktiv Car. While our forces falter and shrivel in both the control of democratic aligned districts and the ability to defend what we have left, we must do something about this now before the citizen of Komi cannot turn his, his or her eye without seeing radicals damaging our democracy. Very good. Actually, what? Do, how is social development going right now? Let's see. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Poverty rate's going up, which is better. Less equipment. Oh, wait. Did I do... Were we losing that? Maybe we did. I don't know. Alright, uh, overall not too bad. Assassination attempt. A uh, conversation with Stelina. Well, if you'd like to read about Stelina, Svetlana Stelina, please go right ahead. Hot tea, warm words. Please go right ahead. I just, I, I'm trying to push ahead so we can get to Big Mama uh, Stel Svetlana Bukharina. Our paramilitary reports, which you just read, direct auction, very cool, and we'll do the government a check. Nothing in our government has been spared from danger in one way or another. While we have essentially twiddled our thumbs, both left and the right applauded, calculated, and made their moves with no counterattack from us. We're essentially a king with two rooks, rooks flanking it. Well, there are only a few moves we are allowed to make, and we must allow the right one, unless a mistake is made and our game is over. The plan is to keep the flame of democracy alive and coming must be observed and changed with haste. The fate of the Republic depends on it, because we're going to have a lot of crises soon enough. Protect your money. If you like to about this, please go right ahead. At least again, protection? Cool. If you'd like to read about Radio Free Sictive Karth Show 397, please go right ahead. But cool. I just want to loot. And rage some booties. Vlogda, huh? Ah, good. Computing machine's done. Get more. More research speed, please, please, please. And we're building some civvies here, too, as you can see. Um, so we're doing that. We have no loot, which sucks. 
We're going to continue suppressing the left for now. Get the right into power. And then cool. Moderate. I want the right into power, right? I think that's what we want to do. So, so suppress the left a little bit more. That would be good. And I, we, I think I need to save as much political power as possible to make sure we get this one done. And then the government check. And we might take the 1962 budget next. Cool. If you'd like to read about direct action, please go right ahead. Decreases the influence of the Komi left by a small amount, as well as the right. We expand operations, and we'll do the 1962 budget then. The 1962 budget of the Republic is a critical document providing a comprehensive list of appropriations for each and every program administered by the government of Comey. However, even with the ruling coalition's dominance of the National Assembly, its passage is not entirely guaranteed. Historically, compromise has been necessary to pass a budget on as ev with every party, which a coalition has different ideas on what should be funded. The budget thus has become an exercise in pork barrel spending, when deputies given appropriations for pet projects to keep them loyal. With the increasing unpopularity of President Bosnesensky, however, the National Assembly could possibly not be quelled by the usual tricks. Numerous advisors and allies to the president have hinted to him that the usual methods of getting the government on his side will be much less effective during the term, and additional means may be necessary to ensure that the Republic gets what it needs in terms of funding. Oh, the budget. Always a problem, isn't it? Can we raid people? I just want to raid. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So, power's less. I want to do that one campaign for the SMR. Low influence. Bosnesenski, the right. So we do, we definitely need to save some PP though. Budget, if we already read that one, which is good. Let's raid some booties. Because if we're not raiding booties, we're not having a good time. Um, eyes left to right. This will auto bypass. So, the plan of attack. If you'd like to read about this, please go right ahead. So, like I said, we're trying to get the right, rightest factions of power, and then we'll coup them once they're done. So, uh, actually, I've already read this one before as well, but this is the, the way that I've read to get this one, so eyes to the left. If you like to read about this, please go right ahead. And I know I've read this one before, but that's okay. Observe leftist paramilitaries. In our nation, marching paramilitaries down the street may as well be our way of greeting each other. The paramilitary is the lifeblood and invisible hand of every party, including ours, and every plotter with a bit of sense knows it. Because of the status and importance of the paramilitary in our republic, simply watching what their thugs do and say will grant us access to valuable information regarding their plans. Throw agents and citizen observers, observers uh, observations. We can figure out when and where the enemy is from hour to hour. It should be paid. It's very good. Elena's secret. Oh boy. If you'd like to read about that, please go right ahead. Which we're going to grab agriculture methods next. Nice. The left is weak. Now that's significant. So this has more power here. So I think we're okay for now. It's only 61, but that's okay. Ooh, anything else here? Popularity. Army XP. No, it doesn't look like it yet. We'll go with attrition planning too. Which would be hopefully pretty bueno. Hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah, I still want to hurt. So we need a PP for later when um, when things are just falling apart for everything. So that's when we need to use all of our PP as far as I remember. I don't want to suppress the left anymore because I don't really I don't want them to be too low for faction power. So it is what it is. Uh, the budget. If you like to build the budget, I've said this one before. I'm pretty sure. So no alterations will be inefficient. Cost engine can handle it. No alterations because we can keep it as is. Cool. And then, uh, Infrastructure Repair Act. While the Republic has a Department of Transportation that handles repairs to infrastructure and replacements to damaged watercraft and transport vehicles, the Department has consistently delivered complaints about how its funding is insufficient to deal with every issue that it currently faces. A new bill has been proposed to the National Assembly to pass through a special appropriation for the Department of Transportation, which is to be de dedicated specifically to providing aid to the Infrastructure Repair Division. However, certain aspects of the bill are undecided, specifically labor laws and the exact source for the funds which would be dedicated. These matters must be decided on in the National Assembly before the bills are passed. Very good. Rumors of a star. Ooh, look at that. Comey's great game of politics is always ran on a steady doubt of rumors, knowing that when one's opponents are, do are doing is crucial if one desires remaining in the game, of course. Filtering out signals from noise is a skill by all itself. Tall tales, bits of speculation, and hearsay are common fodder for the various intelligence agencies, and it takes time to sift through everything. This latest creates is a rumor that an influential politician from Gork has traveled the ways to reach Comey. Depicted as a neutral or natural polit political genius and charismatic orator by the rumored mill, few agree as to what this arrival means. The most popular conclusion is that Suslaw, the far left's mastermind, is likely behind it. Insufficient votes. Uh, if you like to read about this, please go right ahead. Because the takes it away, apparently. Um, I guess we'll do that one. Call, call in favor from the left. That's alright for now. 
the Dark Lord. If you'd like to read about that, please go right ahead. The Rise of Pogonaramov. I remember this one happening too. So if you want to read about him, please go right ahead. Cool. We just have to pray. Zidane was held up as usual end of the deal. The budget resolution passed, and the president of Bosnia saved the republic yet again. Now, with the unenviable job of holding our side of the bargain, the weapons order must be placed with KPK affiliated. Oh yeah, KPK affiliated plans. We just have to pray nobody important notices us reshuffling the planning committee. Let's just hope the right wingers don't find out. Which is actually not good for us. Uh, let's suppress left. Actually, no, we don't have to. Actually, that power went down a little bit more and gave left more power, but not that much more. The veil. Uh, if you'd like to read about this, please go right ahead. We must pierce it. There's no point. Yeah, it's best to pierce it. And Shafarevich's uh, denouncement. I know people want me to play with the Patronary as well, so... It is what it is, but if you'd like to read about this, please go right ahead. Uh, a provision for conservatives. Well, if you'd like to read about that, please go right ahead. Vosnesinski's budget pass event is next. I'm sorry, I'm, tr I'm really... I usually don't do this... And TNO, but since, like I said, I've played this like once already, and I'm going to play this like so many more times, so just, we'll just keep pushing on ahead. The budget's passed, the coming courier. Uh, it's probably important to read about this one. Through an incredibly, incredible update today, President Vonesensky's national budget proposal was passed through the National Assembly. Despite receiving praise by Svet Stalin, uh, Svetlana Stalin, and unanimous support from the People's Democratic Socialist Party and Sovereign Democratic Party for its efforts in improving national security, as well as an unexpected number of votes from the Passionary Faction, members of whom have cited common sense budget cuts and responsible fiscal policy, the bill still looked, looked dead on the arrival. Alexei Kostadjian of the People of the Union of Young Reformers was highly critical of the bill for its cuts to internal spending, particularly on Social Security, and almost two-thirds of the party's representatives refused to vote for it. That is when the Communist Party unexpectedly came to the President's rescue, the majority of the representatives voting for the new budget on the grounds of its importance and protecting national industry and securing the revolution. The budget thus passed with a comfortable majority, and President Vosnesensky is expected to hold a press conference tonight thanking his allies and those opponents who supported the bill. All may, however, not be a bed of roses for the President in the future, as Lev Gumilev and Igor Shevardovich have issued a joint press statement that they will conduct a thorough internal investigation both of the members of Shevardovich's circle who backed the bill without checking it for a communist infiltration, and of the government's own political, a potential collaboration with the KPK. The DSNP might have trouble getting the collaboration in the future. So inelegant, it's good. If you like to read about this, please go right ahead. Just another puppet. Cool. All that matters is that the right is significant and then we can counter coup them. Because when the right coups the first time, you can either stabilize it or just like do nothing and destabilize it and then they'll probably get cooed again. I could be wrong about that. Since I, this, I've not practiced trying to get uh, Svetlana Bukharina on. Or in power, but I'm willing to take the attempt. All right, infrastructure. I love infrastructure. Spreading the red influence from the mundane restaurant conversations to the poll booths, talks in their areas begin to take on a shade of red and gold, hammered sickle. Those who speak of them in a positive light are no longer far leftists, but slowly also ordinary citizens. The dissemination of communistic and socialistic propaganda must be halted through a pair of militaries and our own information for the citizens will replace it. Polling booths will become more guarded and suspected citizens shall be checked for any left-wing activities. We shall stop their efforts here. If you'd like to read about such little time, please go right ahead. Treasure, what time we have left. And a midnight walk, if you'd like to read about this one, please go ahead. Let her fight her own battles. Oh, wait, hold on, let's see. Lenin... Ah, oh, no. You know what? This one's actually probably more important to read. Uh, Yuri shoved his hands in the pockets of his coat, a vain attempt to keep them warm as he trudged through the downpour, almost reflexively. His hand curled around the grip of the gun that always sat in his right-hand pocket. He always carried at least two weapons on him, the knife in his boot, and the took out in his pocket. You never knew who would be out to silence you in the town. Things were f moving faster these days than they had in years. Lenin was certainly right about that. Sometimes decades happen in the span of weeks. The kid was a gosh darn savant at the political game. Bukharina, he corrected himself. In just a few weeks short, she'd rapidly moved up in the party and cemented herself as a force to be reckoned with. Something told Yuri she wouldn't stop rising there. She was like a gosh darn force of nature in the party. One that Sosov was growing increasingly worried about, and therein lied Yuri's choice. Given her a good word of the general secretary would keep her safe for a long, while longer. And Yuri had a feeling she'd capitalize on that good investment. And on the other hand, a part of him said to wait and see. If the ceiling was about her right, she'd be able to claw her way to Soslav herself. Put in a good word, let her fight her own battles. Oh, look at this. Put in a good word. Increase the influence of Svetlana Bukharina. You betcha. And the malicious men's strike. If you'd like to read about this, please go right ahead. We will not have truck with traitors. Hmm. Bring those ears, it's fine. I don't want to do that, but we have to. The replacements, if you like to read about this, please go right ahead. Uh, they get what they get. They're better than Soslav. It, it really doesn't matter, so. And we have about three days left, which is fine. Reports of Gumalayavet machinations. If you'd like to read about this as well, please go right ahead. 
Of course. Infrastructure repair bill. Uh, like, so pretty much for every single one of these events, I'll, I'm gonna, just going to say, I'm going to stop saying, you know, if you want to read about this, I'll give you the option to. I'll, I'll pause it just for a little bit for you guys to read it. But, pass the tax highs with Zadon of support. Uh, United Center expand the budget. Come you're right. Penal labor. More crucial population stability. Less research speed. Free repair goes up by twenty fifty by fifty percent. That's not bad. Scans for El Luti Booty. 76, 58, 42. Uh, I kind of don't mind this increasing the influence of the left, but you get one infrastructure. I kind of prefer per, prefer penal labor honestly, just because you get more recruitable population factor, and more stability. But pass the tax hikes, tax hikes, and can we do this one yet with libertarian social support to get some more poverty social increase? Manifesto of Ordo Daddy Socialism. Sounds like fun. But if you want to read about that, please go right ahead. Bring me Comrade Seraf immediately. As well as Guma, uh, Gumilov's men in the army. We're no better off than what we started. At this point, I don't mind increasing the power of the left. Maybe just a slightly bit, so. I kind of want more manpower, because we're going to need it later on. You know what? Uh, honey, we can save political power, but that's fine. We can cut ties, but we will cut ties later on. That's later on. Yeah, we're going to need just slightly more manpower. Just It's not much, but it's better than what we get for being a warlord. Uh, Sosloff suppresses manifesto. Oh, Sosloff, why? Just showing them all. Oh, no. And the warrior monk. If you like to be about... Uh, you, know what, you, know, you know what I'm going to say. A moment to reflect. Can I raid some booties? No? Okay. Spreading the red influence. Very nice. Um, yep, so from there. Slightly more manpower. We get 39 people every month. Not great, but not bad. Uh, actually, who do we have here? Uh, Zidanov, Suslov, Gumilev. Hmm. And strike from the right. Even if they're helping us defeat the leftist threat, it seems that the situation on the right has not developed to our advantage. While we've been dealing with the communist threat, it seems that the fascists have taken advantage of the opportunity to expand their influence and scope. Much like the left, talks of new graffiti, voter intimidation, and paramilitary assaults from Gumilev have spread throughout our political sphere and show no signs of stopping anytime soon. A meeting must be called and a plan to deal with this new threat must be drafted and carried out. Awesome. It's time to support some more public houses, shall we? Yes, we shall. A request from Zedana. What does he want? Uh, if we're not selected, we'll no longer have contact with Zedana, then drastic consequences may occur. Uh, that really hurts our stability. I guess we'll give him whatever he needs for that. That's fine. And right now, we're going to go and do a raid against the neutral threat of uh, Vologda. A charitable donation. If you'd like to read about this, please go right ahead. Which can sucks, but you know what? That's actually not bad, yeah. Increases the influence of Svetlana Bukhara and Nina. Bukhara and Nina, yes. Let's hope this doesn't blow up in our faces. Oh, like Burgundy's nuclear program is going to blow up. Let's go and go in. in. Hopefully they say, okay, well, not bad so far. Uh, these guys, I think, have up to five divisions, which isn't great. Oh, there goes Guiana. Goodbye. Three to five divisions and no manpower. Oh, they have a division. All right, we won. Thank you very much. People might want to raid our booties, but we're going to tell them, nope, no raiding our booties today. Maybe tomorrow. Try again later on. Not bad, my friends. Who are you? Treasure. Treasure, treasure. Oh, look at that. So, obviously, uh, if you'd like to read about any of these, go right ahead. But It's an honor to minister, as well as a relic of the past, muy bueno. As well as where one fails, another one rises. Oh, look at that. Increased fascist activity. Yeah, I was going to say, do we like fascists? Not in this campaign. No, no, no. A new face. Apparently, due to our efforts to crack the left, a split in their parties developed. While this is good for us, very much so, a conundrum has appeared. We do not know exactly who is splitting from the communists. The person has already gained much influence in the party, that much is already known. Said person also was, reportedly, once lieutenant of Suslov, but has broken away on his or her own accord. And whoever this person now wields much power on the left, anything about this new leader derived from those three tidbits of info. And that's all. We must try to find out who this new container in the political game of Komi is, and quickly before this new splinter of the left moves to attack. Oh, they are going to attack. But we're waiting for the rightists to attack first. Which I could, I could be completely wrong about this, and we could do really bad things, but... Left Vaz Nessensi threatens a split. Oh, boy. An absurd demand. Absolutely absurd. Absolutely absurd. Now can we uh, scavenge more loot? Hopefully. But, oh, a hanging threat. Everyone is compromised. Oh, no. What a shame. The interlude? 
I think we'll do that one, because I like getting more political power. It seems if only for a temporary period of time, things have finally calmed down again. The plotters are treated out of the public eye, most likely so that they can continue plotting in the dark. The streets have become tranquil, and the legislative sessions are less and less chaotic. There is, however, a reason for this calm. Soon, democracy will once again be tested in elections throughout the coming republic. Each and every faction that wishes to see their leader in power must now plan and consolidate, calculating public support in paramilitary controlled areas. The time the movement has ended, the time of strategizing has begun. There's no option but to obey. Decreases the influence of the left. I mean, we're already pretty weak. On the other hand, there's no option but to obey. And we like libertarian socialism, right? The big switch. Oh, boy. Once more, we take the upper hand. Increases the influence of the Comey left. Decreases the influence of the right. All right. Very cool. Very cool. How many more days do we have for this? Okay, eight days. That's fine. Uh, please, can we salvage for Looty Booty? Children to play? A letter will surely solve this. Oh, Dolvanger. I love Dolvanger. Oh, maybe I shouldn't say that, because he was crazy. But we love how crazy he was. We don't love him for him, but we love his uh, passion and drive. And our ideological abomination, Seraph has gone mad! The dragon reveals itself. But we don't really care. The rays of a, a rising star. A special committee meeting was called this morning to discuss a mysterious figure on the left who may be rallying the entire party together over the radio. Both Elena and Yevgeny were present. Were present. Listening carefully and getting ready to decide on a plan of action, whoever this person was, they were becoming a clear and more present threat to the now weakened right and fragile center. We believe we may have a lead on who this figure is. The room goes silent as another assemblyman passes around a dossier to the members of the meeting. Bukharin's daughter, while we, while heaven knows if her old man is still alive, the name alone carries immense and intense weight for all of us, especially the voters. Elena turns to Evgeny and she begins to whisper, Stalina, not yours, though. I've heard of rumors of her. Did not think she was a real person? She's one of those populist types. If she comes around and charms over some of the left's voter base, a good fight will be had. With a strict ahem from the or orating assemblyman, the two quieted down and listened. Nevertheless, rumors around the rumors and speculation, we must crush this rising star before they crush us. All in favor? Aye. Daughter of the Soviet Union. Wow. Um, as much as I want to read this one, not yet. A new face? Uh, wait, a new face. We gotta do, we gotta do the interlude. Uh, good. Very good. Uh, the shadow opens. One could get lost in the blackness. Yep. And let's do minority representation. There lies a deep or deeply concerning trend throughout uh, a republic of inequality in the National Assembly. The majority of the deputies are Russian, with an extreme minority of the National Assembly made up of the peoples that the republic bears the name of the Komi. The proposed bill, spearheaded by Svetlana Stalinist PSD, makes a stand for a certain quota of minority representation, with new districts dr drawn to ensure more minorities are sent to the National Assembly and the rich cultures of the Komi can be protected by a lack of representation. Unusually, Stalina and the left have aligned on this matter with a large contingent of the Volsnesensti. The PSD and the Communists supporting this measure. The fate of the bill seems to rest on the groups that can be rallied to support or oppose it. A more moderate bill could gain the support of more of the center, who are concerned about the political ramifications of mandated representation and marginalized left by the Communist Party's rising star. Suslav browsed the various poll results in front of him. The subject of the polls was Svetlana Bukharina, who was quickly becoming the new face of the Communist Party. Voters continued to love her, proving that her landslide victory from when she first was elected was not just a fluke. Ever since Suslav had decided to start promoting her more, Communist parties had continued to grow. Svetlana Bukharina has become to become a major political figure in Komi. However, her popularity was not just limited to the citizens of Komi. Her competence, her as daughter of General Secretary Bukharin, and her friendly, polite demeanor all made her popular within the Communist Party itself. She had become most popular amongst the younger politicians and the reformists, but she also lacked any major opponents within the party. This is good news for the party, and more importantly, good news for Suslov. Svetlana Bukharin appeared to be exactly what the Communist Party needed, especially with elections just so around the corner. Congratulations, Svetlana Bukharin. Congratulations, indeed. Removing the cancer. Oh boy, Gumilayov will love this. Ah, loot! Power play? No time to waste. Commit everything. There's no shame in reservation. Commit everything, huh? Uh, let's see. Does, in fact, have no more than 20 men. I don't know. There's no shame in reservation. Let's do that one. As long as it doesn't hurt the flowers. A disastrous operation. It'll be like, flowers are here. Alright. Please explain to me how this happened, Soslav asked as passionately as he brandished the paper in front of the news or the front paper of the newspaper. Gumilayev's press is attacked by communist thugs and alleged arson scheme. 
Vernikov's eyes bulged as his face tightened in Ukramus. Comrade General Secretary, last night's events were a result of an intelligence failure that betrayed our plan to Gumilov's forces. The paramilitary leader's side, those are since, as it turned out, were right-wing sympathizers, and promptly sang like canaries the instant they were brought aboard. As a result, there were 30 men and a maximum gun waiting behind the door when people arrived. Survivors? None, except for that arsonist. They ran off with Gumilov's men. Truck was destroyed as well. Thank you for the information, comrade. Soslav said in a measured tone. You may go now. Call Bukharina. We must begin damage at once. Damage control at once. Well, uh, I mean, if you want to read this one, please go ahead. I've already read a, a few of them before. Like, I've, I've read this one before as well, but one must be certain that her assets or their assets are safe. Yeah, uh, pretty much. I need to figure out who, who, who was Suslov in, in real life. I calculate risk. Oh, yes. Oh, dear. Zidanev. Ooh. Increases influence of Svalana. Oh, we do that twice. Increases influence of Andrei Zidanev. No, we want to increase the influence of Svetlana as much as possible, so. 53. Oh, the most influential figure on the left is Bukharina. A plan nomination. I'd like to humbly recommend a 1 SN Bukharina. Return the files. Zidane's always search. I'll read this one. Papers detailing every last aspect of the lives and careers of Cohen's leading communists laid in a neat rows on Mikhail Suslov's desk. Even though he knew every person on his desk, he'd gone to the trouble of paper clipping a photo of each individual to the front of the respective file, as much as he hated to admit it, it indulged a certain feeling of power to manipulate the two dimensional surrogates of his colleagues and subordinates as he wove his plans together. With all of his contacts, personal relationships, and other leverage, he could fairly easily determine who would be the next Communist Party candidate for president of the Cohen Republic. He scanned through the assemblage, intermittently striking some figures off the the list were out, outright as being too ambitious. Others were, in some self estimation, too powerful in their own right. And then, of course, there were those who had certain deviant ideas regarding the party's direction in ordinary times. He would not have resorted to this, but the recent crisis caused too much chaos within the party to be ignored. The final two photographs lay on the desk in front of him with meticulously marked notes below each one. A man and a woman, both altogether two powerful party members that he could not afford to lose. Checking the notes, he lifted his pen once more and made his final decision. He could only hope that this small amount of trust would not be his downfall. Esteemed comrades, I would like to humbly recommend 1SN Bukharina. Now, we have to wait for the elections, but... Or ascension? As much as I want to read this one, pl please go right ahead. Clouds on the horizon. Because now she's the most influential person on the left. A new Doomvrat? Oh, would you look at that? So down and speak to his context first. Um, yeah, keep both in power. Memories of home. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I miss you. I want to go home. There's so many events for Comey. Holy cow. Approaching the Vosnesen Sea. Very cool. And prepare readout systems, which we're going to need. Army Reserve Training, thank you. Preparing the knife. And if you want to read this, please go ahead. Comrade Soslav. Yes. 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 And the Minority Representation Act. The interlude? Very cool. Oh, NIK interlude. Oh boy. Well, uh, we will choose the official center candidate for the 63 elections. I prefer doing the minority representation first. So then we can talk about co coalition negotiations. Mesto confrontation with Mesistopheles. Okay, you've outlived your usefulness, comrades Zidanev. Very cool. If, there you go. You can read all of it there like that. But the time has come. Every five years, a new president is elected, and every two years, a new National Assembly. This election is no different than every other election, a high-stakes contest where each candidate for the head of the House campaigns to control the Republic and everything valuable with him. As per tradition, it's now time to choose a candidate for the figurehead of the Democratic Coalition. Each of these three candidates, Vosnesensky, Kosygin, and Stalina, will express their positions and why exactly they deserve to be the leader of the Democrats and the people. After all... Uh, we will then select a presidential candidate who hopefully will be the best choice for our nation. Before this guy goes, we already did the poverty one, so you have lived, outlived your usefulness. Does, he go, does this go away? No, it doesn't. Okay. Not too bad. Uh, can I beat people up? That's my favorite thing about being a warlord. I love beating people up. Oh, yes, sir. Betrayal? Oh, boy. A fitting fate. Zidanev dies! Oh, no. What a shame. Zidanev... What happened? Andre Zadanov is dead. Goodbye. I'm gonna play Komi so many times. It's, it's like, oh my goodness. Tremors? Oh, yes. 
I can read this. When the small Miss Svetlana Bukharina crushed her threshold into her apartment, she pulled a silk glove out of her pocket, throwing it into the corner, and collapsed on the couch that she kept in the corner, next to the bird's cage. The red feathered inhabitant was nowhere to be seen, and the door was askew, so she as she usually kept it, which she figured was good. She didn't want to be seen like this, not even by her pet. The vision flickered through her mind again and again and again. An impulsive shot, the red mist exiting her own co her old co-worker's head. The light vanishing from his eyes in an instant, the sound of his dropping, Suslov staring at her impressively, the mad dash to the van through hidden corridors as sirens rang out in the distance. It repeated like the wail of an air ride siren that rang out whenever a German bomber decided to take a risk and go for the city's suburbs. She looked down at the black blazer she was wearing, accented by the crimson scarf, blood red, the same color that had escaped into the air after she pulled the trigger, the color of the people's flag as she lay there on her back, staring at the crack in the ceiling that she wasn't home enough to patch. She tried to collect her thoughts, regroup, refocus, repress the memory, think of something else, anything else. Her stream of consciousness was interrupted by a slight weight on her chest and the feeling of tiny claws, the red feathered, black beaked countenance of her bird. Perched atop her breast pocket of her blazer, looked right into her eyes and his head cocked to the side. She remembered feeding to him a worm, and then a quick snap of the beak. She smiled sadly and spoke aloud for the first time since she has shot Andre. It gets easier, Karba, doesn't it? Just don't feel anything. <laughs> Not saying I've done it before, just don't feel something. But then we'll do election day preparations. An election is not something that can be organized on the spot, even if the radicals believe otherwise. We must now begin the process of readying the poll booths, setting up flyers, organizing locations, and more of the standard procedure that bores our legislators to no end. As usual, we'll call up ready volunteers to do their duty to democracy, and we'll do these tasks for us, and in all of this, of course. We must also be aware of the radicals for their ideas of preparation to something much more sinister. But let us finish with the mandated minority representation bill, pass it in full... Increases the influence of Stalina. Not bad. Affirmative action. We can learn some lessons here. Increases the influence of Svetlana Stalina. This is patently discriminatory against Russians. Hmm. Increases the influence of the right. You know what? Uh, the left? Uh, how much influence does Stalina have? Uh, Stalina. Well, she is technically the center. 27 is not much. So we'll pass it in full because we can. But I think that's going to end it here for us today. In which tomorrow we shall have at least one coup and hopefully get Svetlana Bukharina into power. If you liked the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we will continue raiding and hopefully have a lot of fun, bloody times. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.